So the main control panel, home button will get you to this place right here. So normally in your RV, you have a spot where you can check the levels of your fresh water, propane, all that stuff. Here's where you do it here. You just press the home button and it's on the screen. Fresh water is at 100%. Gray is 33, black is 33. It's probably just from people um, flushing. Your propane, liquid propane says it's uh, at 87% full, which is probably right about max for that. If you want to turn on the water pumper off, you can see it's off now. I can turn it on. You can hear that little grumble. You can turn on the water heater via, via gas or electric. I just turned on electric. If I turned on gas. Gas when we're running on the road or yeah, parked somewhere. You got it. That's uh, it. Electric is when we're plugged in. Yeah, or you can run gas either way. Okay. Um, you've got uh, a lot of people wanting to shower. Some people will say it will help the water warm up faster. That may okay. be true. I haven't had that problem. Right now it says fault, but you saw it just go on. It takes a couple of times for the gas to cycle through to make sure. This will tell you your house battery and your chassis battery. 13.1 to 13 volts. Chassis is your vehicle. House is for the coach itself. Anytime you see a battery at 13 volts, it means it's being charged. We're plugged in, so your batteries are being charged naturally. Okay. Typically in a motor home, your chassis battery is not charged while you're plugged in. Tiffins tend to be. Okay. Going forward, all these things do certain things. Fan, you remember I showed you the fan? Mm -hmm. You got galley fan, which is a kitchen uh, lid up. You hear the lid going up. Oh, yeah. Mid bath. Uh, behind you, rear bath, um, and then a bedroom ceiling fan. You got a ceiling fan here, so we can. It's on low. Okay. We swing it, press it again, it'll go to high, press it again, it'll go to off. I'm gonna go ahead and close that lid, turn that one off. So that's it. Slides. You've got two main slides. This is a full body slide, and then your bedroom slide. So you can control these right here. Uh, and actually, your driver's side is up front, but this is the rear side, so in and out. And generally, you have to have the engine on for that. Okay. Climate control, you can see the temperature setting there. You got zones, you got front. Right now, front is on cool. Fan is on auto. Auto just means when the device itself shuts off, the fan shuts off with it. Otherwise, you can leave the fan on all the time. You got your temperature setting. This is front zone. I can switch to rear zone. And you can see that it's mm -hmm. off, or I can turn it on. It's getting a little chilly in here, so I'm gonna. It's got a heat mode, so I just turned off the AC, and the heat should kick on in just a moment if we wanted it to, or I can just turn it off. Okay. Lights, you got a lot of them. Dark means it's on. Bedroom, entry, main, floor, overhead, sconce, porch. We can do them all. Task light, TV accent. That's one Is, of the main lights. Are there other places in the coach to turn on a lot of these lights? from other pads, but this is just grouped in one. Yes. So all of these light switches um, for those zones will have a pad for that zone. Oh, for that zone. But got this it. is for this the is master. Okay. You got it. All right. Now there's two things here. You see light master. What that does typically, it does not affect the outside lights, which is your porch and your awning because I have those on. Light master means every light that was on in the internal, I just turned off. Now, when I come back in, you have a master light switch at the door as well. You hit that and all the lights that were on come back on. So okay. for example, let's say I only had um, a few lights on. If I had master light, those off. Master light, the ones that were on come back on. So it's not turning everything on. Okay. Panel lights. There are people who can't sleep with night lights. If you can't stand that, all panels will go dark. 